one health. I like this play. Let's go take a look. The other carry is trained, and he's still really stacked, though. 200 health, 100 armor. Back over to Adrenaline. Adrenaline's thing at 100, 100. And now 200, 100. So, um, pretty even stacked for these carriers. I think so Adrenaline. Far. Yeah, I think Adrenaline's gonna have to go offense here, even with the flag. I mean, with, with this one much time, you can't really. Well, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't think right. it matters. Right. If they're down one, maybe I'd say, you know, you would see an offensive player with the flag go, right? You know, oh, and try to get their flag back, but I guess down two or three frags it probably won't matter. And if we take a look, uh, yeah, um, train's still very strong, so uh, for wh whatever it's worth, lights out has yet to really put any pressure on that carrier. Adrenaline is defending himself beautifully against uh, many attackers, and he has no help, guys. Uh, this is all him, so uh, he's really shining. But it's a shame that uh, that you know that means that there are three lights out guys going on solid O, yet they cannot return this flag. Uh, so to me, that says that for whatever reason, whatever Soy is doing, uh, it's working out for them, and uh, they're going to win this three caps up. Yeah, Soy Soy really <laughs> impressed me on this map. Wins. Yeah, and uh, if we look at train wins out there, um, he had himself one cap, uh, but uh, slipshot had a pair. Um, but look at this effortless nine deaths and Dreadic seventeen. Uh, I think that tells a little bit of the story. Um, even though Crave Josh barely died uh, as well, um, that slight difference in deaths between those main defenders of Crave Josh and Effortless can. It really indicate you know who who got uh, more flags out. Of the yeah, base. and I think what that does really show is is that there's a lot of uh, you know one on ones between the sword defenders and the lights out attackers, and usually your defenders on this map are going to be you know twice as stacked as any of the offensive players. But also this is also a map where you know, a lot of offensive players will choose not to engage at all with the defensive players. You know they'll come in, they'll get the map like you saw, Rape Train do. You, you know they'll come in, they'll mm -hmm. grab that map, rocket jump out. Because you know, they know that the defender will probably be yeah, grab the flag. Sorry. Yeah, and because and, they know that the defense is going to be stacked up, and they're probably not going to have a chance if they have to play them one on one. Hopefully, you do a little bit of rocket jumping than a <laughs> raid did on a few of those. We may see a little bit of a, a substitution. It looks like we got Blatrix in for lights out. Yeah, and another offensive heavy map here on Ironworks. So we might be making some offensive substitutions here. So we got all but Blatrix ready to go. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, F3 is heading for us. We're going to see Ironworks. And uh, this is the DMECTF map, uh, where it's uh, a lot of great twists yep. and turns. Um, very offensive heavy. Yeah, Unlike exactly. last map. Exactly. So we're going to see very different play styles. Um, the center of this map, very key. We're already seeing uh, Lights Out holding it down with the rail. They get the first rail. And uh, if we take a look, uh, Rape Train is uh, falling back. And looking to destroy fear with a pair of shotgun shots. And uh, we're going to see the first power up up in about three seconds. Train is ready to hold it down. It's going to get a pair of rails. I, yeah, that was a nice telegraph shot. Gets a third. And uh, Adrenaline, though, coming out. Not going to be able to survive against Train's rail. Good lord, I am loving it. Uh, that, I think, was the fifth rail in about uh, six or seven shots there from Train that he nailed. So uh, great work there. And let's let's see. He's gonna wait for this red armor here. Yeah, but he's gonna be here for quite a while. He doesn't I don't like him it. spamming those grenades though. Yeah, I don't like him spamming those grenades really. Well, they can hear the uh, the, the boing, boing, there. boing of the regen, so there's no point in trying to be silent. He really does wait it out. Good lord. And he actually nailed that rocket at the lip <laughs> of the water. Um, he's gonna get away because of his stack, and now he's gonna deal with two plate tricks. Eats a rail slug to the crotch, but we'll go down. Uh, we'll be able to pull down uh, train after that uh, long-standing attack. So, um, Phil yeah, lights out, falling back there on that defense. Yeah, yeah I saw at least three in there. It looked like probably four. Phil is on spec and just scratching his head for that one. All four. But that's of them. smart on on lights out part, you know. Especially when you know you got a guy in your base with the regen at the red armor. 
Yeah, exactly. If it's gonna be coming at you during stack, it's uh, pretty risky. We, we see a med kit used here by Slipshot, and he does get the kill. Moving in, and he actually has advantage of position here, but getting railed not once, but twice. Blatrix answers and gets that flag uh, returned very quickly. Suffer's ready with the first real attempt at a flag run, and he's looking, he's like, hmm, which way should I go, which way should I go, which way should I go? I'm gonna choose this one. Oh, right into a guy with an LG. Whoops! <laughs> Uh, you have chosen poorly. So TGM, uh, do you have any uh, cool info about these players? I mean, uh, we started to see Soy for the first time for our coverage of the Queen Death Match TV2. Really, I had seen a couple of uh, stories like Gator Smashed and stuff on, uh, like, just pubbing and stuff. Um, I'm not really keen on their history in terms of the comp. Yeah, I can't say I'm too familiar with too many of the Soy guys. I mean, I, I'm familiar with them from you know Quake Live, but not from Quake Three. Okay. Though I believe a lot of people in Quake Live are rolling with different names. Oh yeah. Then they played with in Quake 3 for whatever reasons. Of course with Quake 3, it, for those people that don't know, you could use any name you wanted so at any given time you had no idea who was who in any server. Yeah. Although it was always kind of props like uh, people kind of um, put together these uh, uh, encyclopedias of IP addresses and, and um, things like that to try to catch you know people that were aliasing. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it looks like we just lost TGM. Uh, are you gonna reboot? Okay. But anyway, okay. So we're looking at uh, a nice flag run here. Slipshot to the center gets pulled apart. Uh, Suffer's ready gets the return, and we gotta see uh, about three quick frags in a row. Suffer's ready one more time from Lights Out, getting that return. Um, really making the plays. I mean, I'm trying to take a look at the defense. We're seeing Effortless. We're gonna go watch him for a second. Uh, we got about 35 seconds until we see the uh, the next regen come up. I'm gonna watch Effortless because he's been playing this uh, thing and he's yet to die, folks. Uh, whereas uh, Blatrix Plan D has died three times. Look at this. Blindsided Effortless eats a rocket, but uh, really unscathed. Uh, it was just a bit of splash. It wasn't quite the, uh, the solid. Something's ready trying to get out. Dreydic getting a return. So we're seeing once more this duo of Effortless and Dreydic. Where they are. Um, Dreydic's kind of playing the 4D and Effortless is playing the sort of main base D. Uh, I'm going to try to watch, uh, after this regen, watch who's playing in center to see how that's going. Because uh, it's it really, the center is one of the most important pieces of this map. Great LG here by train to stay alive so long. He's actually going to be gulping water in just a second. And uh, that rail is going to put him down. Blatrix holds on to D. But... He's definitely been attacked pretty solidly here. Still 0 0 score, guys. One fourth of this match has been played away. We have to find the center player. Great expressed out to center lower, though, uh, which is um, not typical. Usually we see. Uh, He's going to be kind of camping that rail in the center. He's going to help out effortless. Make sure that he doesn't lose his perfect uh, frag. Uh, sort of rather KD ratio. Great pushing out to center. Still has a um, med kit. Gets an excellent, fantastic work by Dreydic. And, okay, guys, that's really important. We just saw it. Um, I'm really not sure if it's Dreydic or Dreydic, but we just saw. We just saw Dratic pick up that red, so it looks like he is making sure that Effortless never has to face off against a um, 100 stacked uh, Lights Out attacker. And that really is critical, because handing away your red armor since your main defender can't really use it um, really becomes a, a huge mistake, and it's something that, that Sui is not allowing. And so uh, I, I think that if they can continue that trend, I mean, we're going to see if Lights Out has that uh, in their bag of tricks as well, but um, I, I think that, that will eventually pay off for them. 
Regen picked up. Dredic one more time. Standing in the right place at the right time. We got an attempt at the flag run. Uh, Terrain not going to get very far, though. Blazer is getting the return. A uh, rocket jump without enough health will definitely hurt you a lot in the face. So, Fear running with his regen. Looking for... Uh, Honestly, he's 